we're going through in financial maths, do you remember we talked about the fact that we're investing now, right? We looked at how to earn money, that's just, you know, you've got a job, you've got salaries, wages, etc. We looked at all the allowances that came with that, other ways of getting money. Now we're thinking about what happens when you've got the money and what can you do with it, okay? Um, investing it, putting it in a bank account, that's a pretty standard way to do things. Now, over the weekend, I posted the video on simple interest. Part of the reason why I'm happy to move on with that is because we looked at simple interest last year. In fact, we looked at compound as well, but compound's a bit trickier, so that's why I'm gonna slow down and have a look at this. Okay. I just want you to remember how simple interest works. So you can do this all on the piece of paper that you've got there. Simple interest, let's start with the formula for simple interest, which I think most of you remember. It starts like this. I equals, now, what are the three letters that come after? PRN, very good. Now, would you all pop that up the top of your page? I equals PRN. And I want you to help remember with me, the P, I'm the R, and the M. What do they mean? Principal, 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 principal rate, and number of, yeah, time periods is the best way to say it, okay? Usually it's years, but it's not always years. It could be months, it could be weeks if they're a weird bank, whatever it is, okay? I equals PRM. Now you can see that the interest really depends, in terms of the money, it depends on that principle, right? Now this is the important bit. The principle here, principle is our name for, what's the beginning, what's the, the starting value, the initial value of the bank account, how much money you put in? Okay, so I'm actually gonna write there initial value because that's a more helpful name than principle. It's like, what do you start with, okay? Now, coming back out here, the whole idea of interest simply is you're giving money over to someone else. They ought to pay you for the right of having your money and being able to do with it as they please. Start a business venture or invest it or do any kinds of things like that. So therefore, simple interest works by paying money to you or whoever is lending the money based on this, the, the initial amount, right? So that's what I'm gonna put here. Initial amount, okay? So you put in $1,000, they'll pay you interest based on $1,000. You put in a million dollars if you're lucky, and they'll pay you interest based on a million dollars. It's all about this initial amount, okay? Now compound interest is a little bit different. It is the same idea, it's still interest, but every year, right every year they recalculate so rather than okay first year I get paid this amount of interest second year I get paid the same amount and on and on and on you get paid more and more and that's why it's called compound interest right it gets bigger and bigger every year is calculated as if it were a new amount right they look again at the account and they say oh, okay well now that the end of the year has passed you've got more in there so we'll pay you more interest based on the fact you got more money there so let's have a look at the same amount of money, same amount of interest, same amount of time, and let's see how simple interest and compound interest, the numbers work differently, okay? So, simple interest. Here's a table, you're gonna see this in your textbook, so that's why I thought I'd model it for you here, and you don't have to copy out the whole thing. The idea is that you wanna see how, as time passes, the bank account is growing, and you wanna work out all of that, you wanna do the number crunching. It will be help helpful to have you calculate it there if you haven't already opened it, okay? So, you can see, the three columns are balance plus interest, what's the total balance after you've combined them, and then now that you have a total balance, well, what interest will get paid to your account at the end of each year? Um, you can see I've grayed out the first one. Why is that great? Because it hasn't been in there for any amount of time. It's the start of the first year, so they haven't paid you any interest yet. So that's why I haven't put anything there, okay? Um, therefore, the total balance, what you're beginning with, is just that principle, the 2004 100, they're paying you 6%, 6% per annum. So what are you gonna put over here on the right hand side? What calculation will give you that figure? Yep. Okay, yeah, now I'm just gonna pause here. You've got, we've, paused, we've pointed this out before, right? On your calculator, you have a percent button, okay? I'm actually going to encourage you, now that we're fully working with percentages a lot, not to use that percent button, and actually to get used to Converting to decimal. Here's why. First, let's just write it down. So it's 0 0.06. Later on, you're going to have to work out some percentages, right? Like you're going to have to use your calculator. It's going to have to you're going to punch the buttons. You get a value out that signifies your percentage. There's nothing you can do to your calculator to make it automatically hand to you something which says blah, 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 percent. 
it's always, every time, going to hand you a decimal. Okay? So you might as well get in the pattern now of reading a decimal and interpreting the percentage off it. Okay? It's better to get in the habit now so you don't get confused later. Once you put in 2400 times 0 0.06, it's going to give you back 144. Okay, great. So coming back now, that's the first year. At the okay, so wait, do you mean the 2400 or the 144? Uh, you know what? It, it's how much has been put in at the beginning, right? And then we're going to include the interest on top of that, right? Okay, so start of the second year, we're going to combine these two together, right? So I'm going to get. We're just actually just going to write the sum here. And then I'm going to work out the balance. Now, this is easy enough. We can do this in our heads. We don't need a calculator for this, right? Tell me we don't need a calculator. 2,544. Very good. Still got it. Okay, excellent. Now, here's the thing, right? Simple interest, it's often also called flat rate interest. Flat rate interest. And the reason why is because even though I've got more money in my account now, they're still going to pay me the same $144 every single year. Like we said right at the top, right? Simple interest pays money based on the initial amount. They don't care how much it's grown. They're just going back to that $2,400, okay? So for these next two cells here, this is still going to be $144. And you know what? For however many years I stay in there, it's still going to be $144, okay? Does that make sense? Every year, flat rate. That's the way simple interest works. So now I can fill the rest of this in, right? At the start of the third year, I've had this amount of interest added in, then I've had a second amount of interest added in. So it's going to be, this is my new starting point, 2,544, and I'm gonna get the same amount of interest included, right? The 144 that I just calculated. We can still do this in our heads, right? That's 2,688. Very good. Oh, this will be tricky. Okay. So now, third and final year, they add on the same flat rate, simple interest, 2688, eight, adding on 144. 2832. Thank you very much, Akil. Okay, so, correct. So, simple interest is giving you the same amount, 144 every year, every year in, year out. It's all based on the initial value. That's the way simple interest works. Okay. Now, just to close this off, a concluding question often is, well, now that you've gone through all of this, what's the total amount of interest earned? Now, there are actually two ways we can work this out. Have a look. Look at the way the table is configured. If you wanted to work out the total interest, how would you, um, what's the first thing that jumps to mind for how you would calculate the total interest? Oh, no, this is interesting. Simultaneously, you both said different ways, and I'm going to use both of them. Gary, you said to take these three amounts and to... No, wait, did you say the other one? No, Eliza, you said to take these three amounts and add them. Let's just write that down. So it's 144, and it happens three times, right? So I'm going to multiply by three, which is 432. Of course, there is another way of doing that, just by looking at where you end and compare that with where you started and just take the difference, right? So I could instead, if I wanted to, I could have done 2832 and subtract your initial amount, your principal, yeah? Which of course, reassuringly, gives you the same 432 that we calculated just now. Are you happy with that? Does that make sense?